know. Me and Daniel have got a fantastic craft for you today to go with our story of a barbecue on the beach. We're going to be making fruit and vegetable flowers and other printing. Here's one I did earlier. Uh, this is with celery, which as you can see has worked really well. And that's our Bible verse, which I'll uh, show you later on. So you need a selection of fruit and vegetables cut into flower shapes or apple halves. Uh, so celery bottoms work quite well. Um, then you can cut the rest of the stalk of the celery and use the ends. Um, also the bottom of lettuce works quite well. There's a um, little gem or something like that. I've cut an apple that way to try it. Uh, tomato is not so good I think and I've cut some broccoli in half so I'm also going to try dabbing these bits on to see. Okay because we're thinking about how God is going to make the world new and is going to make a wonderful new world for us. So let's get started Daniel. Okay no, so we're going to print some flowers and we can draw some stalks on. So what colour do you want to start with? Do you want to start with purple? Purple. Mum, with a pepper. With a pepper, and then you print it onto the paper, and then lift it up. I don't know. Okay, let's just press it a little bit more. There we go. That's a lovely flower shape, isn't it? Do you want to do another purple one, or do you want to do a pink one? Pink one. Pink celery. Shall we do the pink celery flower? Okay. Do you want to do it? I can have this. Yep. Pick it up, that's it, and then print it and press it down, and then lift it up. Wow, now do you want to print it again somewhere because there's lots of paint on there? Lovely, they look like roses, don't they? They're they roses. Are they roses? They're beautiful roses, aren't they? They're this in the rose here. And a rose in the middle, is that a purple rose? What colour do you want to do now? Uh, orange painting. Orange. Okay, shall we try this on the orange? Yeah, make an orange flower. Press it, rub it in the paint. Okay. Lovely. We're making a new flowers. Orange roses. Orange roses. They're lovely, aren't they? Okay. Let's do some more. Shall we start a new sheet? Look at those lovely flowers. Now, I'll tell you what, if we want... A broccoli. You could, we could, if you want to, you can put stalks on your flowers. Okay. You can just do stalks to the flowers. Stalk. There is green stalks. Green stalks. And you can do green leaves as well with the end of a piece of celery. So, should we do this before we do another piece, Daniel? Dip it in and then make some leaves on the stalks. And on the flowers. On the flowers. Let's do some over here. Or over here. Or over there. Lovely. Okay. Oh, I'm done with the celery. Oh, we're done with the celery now. Let's get a new piece of paper because we've run out of room. New piece of paper. Uh, right, should we try broccoli trees? It's a bit more tricky. You have to press it all down and then hold it. Take it out. And then you press it onto the paper. So press, press the stalk. Looks like a broccoli tree, doesn't it? Broccoli. Broccoli. Do you want to press it down? What's two broccoli? Two broccolis. And the other way to use broccoli, I we can, can try just dabbing this into a colour. Should we dab it into the yellow? Yeah, and just do some 
We could do some flowers like that. Or we could do the sun like that. Do you want to do some, Daniel? Nice. Now remember, don't eat these. Okay, um, how about an apple half? Shall we do a lovely red apple? Okay, so we'll rub it in the paint and then press it onto the paper. Yeah, so we've got paint, and now pick up the apple. Um, now yeah, pick it up and press it on the paper. And we'll lift it up. Let's lift it up. That's it. Ah. An apple. Yeah. We'll do another one. Apple. Wow. Look at those apples. And um, we need a pink apple. Shall we do a pink apple? We'll use this one. Now this is cutting the apple the other way. Um, that's a pink apple. That's a pink apple. Okay, do you want to pick up the apple? Oh, <laughs> let me not get paint in. Okay, it's okay if we get paint on our fingers. We'll just wash our hands afterwards. Okay. Now we'll see. And we'd see the star shape in the middle, but we don't really with these paints, but never mind. Okay. I'll paint some star shapes. Now. I'm going to show you the Bible verse that you can write once the picture's dry, or I wrote it on stickers. Okay, it says, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Look, God has come to live with his people. There will be no death, no mourning, no crying, no pain. And that's from the book in the Bible of Revelation, chapter 21, verses 1 to 4. But I'll put the words up on the screen for that, and I'll put it in the um, description. So I hope you can do some, have some fun with this. Um, yeah. If you don't have any fruit or veg that you can use, the bottom of a um, bottle works quite well as well. I might go and get one now to show you. So if you have a plastic bottle, a little one or a bigger one that's got like a flower shape at the bottom. We can do this, Daniel. Dip it into the paint. And then do you want to press it on the paper? That's it. Some lovely orange flowers. I've seen on Pinterest some very artistic ones of these done like cherry blossom um, Japanese bit, kind of style. And a bit like Jap orange Japanese. That's right Daniel, that's right. But hopefully you can have lots of fun with this. If you don't have any paints or can't place the mess then you could uh, you cut up bits of paper and scrunch them up or fold them up to make petals. So thank you very much and we'll post some songs up too.